Okay. Could we start? Yes. Uh, this case is a five-month-old male, eight kilograms in body weight. He was asymptomatic, referred for continuous murmur. Physical examination so come back also oh, revealed <laughs> continuous right. murmur at left lower sternal uh, border. But just hold it. Yeah. And ECG showed bioventricular hypertrophy with no ischemic findings. Stop flu. Okay, okay. On echo, large coronary fistula between left main <coughs> coronary artery and right atrium was seen. The right coronary is Left no, main no coronary artery uh, was I, I, dilated 9.5 millimeter I in diameter. Always I check. Mm. Both left and right heart dilated. chambers were dilated. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Here you can see the uh, large coronary fistula. Onto the images. After closure, we can go. And here are the colored images of fistula. <coughs> its diameter was 9.6 millimeter at its origin and 3.2 millimeters at the right atrium right side. And yeah. our intended intervention yeah. is percutaneous yeah. coronary artery fistula closure. And uh, Ilker, our fellow, do you hear me? Good. Yes. Yes. All right. Can you hear me as well or not? Yes. Obviously yes. not. What about yes. Shark? Do you hear Shark? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. So uh, uh, seeing us is irrelevant. Can you see the angiogram? on your yes. screen. So on your screen you're probably seeing a spider view of the left coronary artery which shows um, the normal uh, coronary artery origin and uh, the uh, circumflex there but there's a large fistula going from uh, the left yes. coronary going to the right atrium yes. and um, it's a slightly tortuous but a long vessel with a smallish probably three or four millimeter opening. Do you see that? Yes, it's very clear. Yes. Okay. We don't get a really good view of the LED. I think the LED is there on the, if we show the, this projection now. Uh, two fluoroscopy, please. Two. Lateral and... Uh, two fluoro, two fluoro. One bigger, one... We're just Second one is larger now than... We're just trying to... Uh, yeah, so uh, okay. now you see the lateral, oh, oh. we're now trying to show you the lateral projection of that as well. So we see two uh, uh, large branches, circumflex and probably the LED which is slightly distorted and then the left coronary artery fistula. Do you see that? Yeah, uh, uh, Shaq, it's Joe here. I think you had a ghost of the left uh, anterior descending in the previous uh, injection. Yeah, uh, further so this back. is a true fistula rather than part yeah. of the um, correct. of the coronary artery uh, tree itself. Yeah, correct. So if you uh, make the other one big. So Joe, if you look at about 11 o'clock, oh no, one o'clock-ish on that projection. There There's a ghost. Yeah, okay. So that was, um, we were coming to uh, say that this is the big fistula vessel and the left coronary is up there, yeah? Now the, uh, the next picture. This one I can I get. And this is uh, an ARIO 30 view, which again uh, doesn't show the ghosting so well, but certainly shows the circumflex. And then the fistula going back towards the right atrium. There is a quite a good three or four millimeter right atrial opening. Uh, and then um, the uh, next uh, picture after that. So uh, we had a little bit of discussion here about what to use and what, uh, what approach to take. If you go back one. Back. Geriye. 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 Ge
Yeah. Okay. Um, and the diameter, um, Ahmed, can you remember the diameters? Yeah, six millimeter at the uh, middle part. And the so uh, the vessel is around six millimeters uh, in that mid portion towards the aneurysm. And uh, further back towards the left coronary origin, it's about seven or eight millimeters. So uh, this, remember, this is a five month old um, seven kilos or eight kilos. Eight yeah. kilos. Uh, so, um, one of the discussions was uh, how to close it and um, uh, what to close it with. So, any suggestions? Dr. Tariq. Mm. Any comment? Any comment? No comment. No, uh, otherwise, we'll proceed. Looks very, very, I mean, uh, like a s almost uh, straightforward apart from this. A bit uh, louder, Tariq. Okay, I think you can use either a coil or a BDA device. Ooh. But I, I want before that, <laughs> before that, I would, would like you to to a closure of the this yeah. fistula by a balloon. First and, of all, and check ah. and check the real w if there is anything coming lower down. So, uh, if I understood it, you said a PDA device or what? Or a coil. 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 Oh, yeah. For okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, for the first time, retrograde through it or uh, with. Arteriovascular. You, you, you uh, close it, you do an arteriovenous loop and close it loop. from the venous side. Yeah. yeah okay, a coil I'll be a bit nervous about okay. because um, we don't perfect. have the exact measurement, so we think it's about three, between three and four millimeters, maybe four, more than that. Uh, and then with such a high flow, we're going to need a lot of coils. So, whereas a, a device such as uh, ADO at the uh, aneurysm right atrial end makes sense. Uh, but the, the concern over the last few years with these fistulas, to me, play that again, is if you deliver a, a device at the right atrial end, you've got quite a length of um, the fistula dilated vessel. And so I've taken a view uh, of two things. One is uh, if you're going to use right atrial end, then I would close the fistula vessel not quite at the origin of that circumflex, but where it goes uh, horizontally on your, uh, nearly horizontally in your picture. So I would deliver a device there and then possibly deliver one at the right atrial end as well. So those are the uh, two things that I, I've changed a little bit in, in my practice. So what we're going to do, with, uh, uh, Ahmed and I had a bit of a discussion and we're trying to do this reasonably quickly. And so um, we decided we would go retrograde arterial approach. So yes. go to the next. Uh, here yeah. you see the so two one comment. Yeah. Uh, do, do you yeah. prefer uh, vascular plug in this case? Uh, I couldn't hear. Please close the microphone. Yeah? So the question is: there is there is a chance of using a vascular plug? Yes. Yes. Uh, so You're what right. we're thinking is using an AVP two. Yes. And uh, we no no back. So uh, what we decided was go retrograde arterial and uh, consider an AVP two. Here you see the Judkins left coronary catheter with a Taruma wire uh, going through the fistula in easily into the SVC. Next. Uh, so now we've got a five French sheath from the arterial approach uh, going over this Taruma wire and you'll see it gradually jumping. Next. Now it's uh, through into the SVC. Next. Uh, we've pulled it back because we decided we would put a AVP2 uh, in uh, that aneurysmal portion, so probably around that position. Next. And there's the current position we're in at the moment. You, we've got a five French sheath in uh, near the aneurysm, and then uh, we're ready to uh, decide on a device. So our choice was, uh, Ahmed thinks that we should use a 10, 10. AVP2. And I think that's a reasonable approach to try. Any comments yeah. or? Let's open the <coughs> device. So just fluoro for a second. Uh, yes. So that's where we are yes, at the moment. Fluoro. That was live fluoro. Uh, any oh, dissenters uh, against the AVP2? 10 millimeters. Yeah. We decided 10, but uh, before yeah. that, uh, any suggestions I would like to see the, uh, uh, 12 from minutes. your side as yeah. to whether 10 is okay or whether yeah, 12 we is also working with uh, five, five friends, friends. Mm -hmm. so right. 10 so or 12. Khalid, what, what do you think? Eight so, millimeters. so who agree with 10? 
our who agree with 10, is also 10 yeah? who agree with the 12 so I think 10 no one agree 12 there is a 3 oh and what are the rest are they full, uh, all asleep or um? <laughs> I think it's already 5 o'clock so <laughs> the slack rooms and all right, so I think we're going to try a 10 at this yeah, stage. I think that's good. We've given uh, 100 per kilo of heparin because it, uh, whilst we're playing around in the coronary arteries, it's important. Uh, Shank, why did you decide to go from the arterial rather than from the venous side? Uh, because it's right, yeah. Ahmed, go on. Yeah, because it is easier if there is enough space in the artery and also it is easier to go there and uh, not much more long tortures uh, for safe uh, low radiation exposure and also at the exit point there is very uh, very uh, very uh, angle very much angle so uh, yeah, but if with a braided sheet, if it we should do not be a problem. If we do arteriovenous loop, uh, it may be uh, harder to go to inside the coronary artery. Uh, why? Uh, why do you advise? Well, uh, it's vascular to vascular do, damage. You know, you get more vascular damage with uh, going through the I artery than going so, through yeah. the vein. And I think you were able to get a wire into the SVC, so I don't think there'll be a problem entering the fistula from the venous side. Yeah. I don't think yeah. so. Um, so uh, anyway, so those were the discussions yes, we had as well. And uh, we've, um, this sheath has gone in very easily. We don't want to take too long. I said, if we're going to do this approach, we've got to do it quickly so that we're not um, wasting too much time. Yes. I don't, uh, I don't, whilst okay, you're discussing, can I just, uh, uh, we'll carry on, I think, with this. Yeah. OK, while they're carrying on, I, I have always insisted on seeing the lesions very carefully. And I was just asking Problem John next to me, because I want to stand there to me, where do you think the exit of the fistula, okay. where is it about from structures of is it the right angle? Oh. Is it is going problem? to be around the SA node? Is it going to be around the uh, coronavirus? Or is it going to be away from them? Is it going to be appendage or where? It's the dilator, so which is from yeah, the dilator, side, dilator. It will help to identify where exactly, topographically, where does the exit? Yeah, we can't, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Please. Come closer to the microphone. We can't hear you. So, Dr. Mansour's suggestion was saying that going from the venous side will, will, uh, will identify the relation to a critical like the sinus node or coronary sinus. Are you hearing us? No, tell, say, say again. Okay. Uh, Shaq, where yeah. do you think this, the exit? Uh, on the right okay. atrium, where about topographically? It's in the uh, SVC right atrial junction, I think. So around oh. the SA node, do you think? You can go. Yeah. Is it? Some, somewhere around there, yes. I don't and you're not afraid okay. to cause any okay. harm to it. Okay. So anyway, so uh, whilst you're having discussion, we're going to try a 10 millimeter AVP2. That's the AVP2 coming up. Yes. It'll be a bit tight around. Can I have a? Yeah. At this time, we should keep uh, very careful this because be it very may tight. go jump. No, it's got to get round that first. Yes. We can go. Uh, no, no. Now. Wait, wait. I, I have to push. I think. Yeah, I have just a little. Not too I much. To push. Not so much, but yeah. I have to push because you cannot. Yes. It's going. Go, please, yeah. Yes. This is why I want to because do of the angle, yeah. we have some difficulties yeah. in advancing. That's why I was trying to go yes. for our trio. Uh, eight millimeter also. No, no. Wait. Good. Just advance a little bit. Advance? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, I want to do we can do uh, Venus antigrade approach is better. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. I see. It's going, but yes. very slowly. 
slowly, very, very slowly. A little bit to mm? there. Now the archery forceps. Do you like lessen the tension? No, it's not that. It's just a, it's too sharp an angle, you see. Yes. I go a little bit. It's going. Because I will put I am pushing. Wait. Okay. Very slow. Then. Yeah. Very, very slow. Pan set for a little Okay, just advance a little bit. Advance a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yes, keep it there. Pull back a little. Okay. Oop. Oop. Yeah. You see what? That's why I was. My preference is always uh, to, uh, Venus, uh, loop. Venus loop. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Right. You try. It. You try. It. Yeah. Okay. okay I said. Okay. So that, that's one of the uh, disadvantages of this uh, retrograde approach because it's quite tight angles. Okay. So any, any suggestion? Well, it's just a matter of pushing and if uh, getting it around that one or two bends and if it doesn't go then uh, we're going to lengthen the procedure and do an arterial venous loop. Or we can take another eight millimeter. Well, eight is too eight. small, I think, isn't it? Shaq, uh, can, can you use an ADO additional size, AS? It no, may no, be softer. I think it's AS. Um, because this one is very long and more yeah, stiff. Yeah, but here the length is less of a problem, isn't it? ADO yeah. 2 AS. Uh, AS, maybe it AVP will pass through six this. Six millimeters, so that would be yeah. undersized. That's maybe a better choice. Yeah. Uh, here the vessel is eight, so at least six to eight millimeters, so we've gone 10 millimeters rather than 12 even. Yeah. So that's why I thought that we can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at all kink oh, now, it won't go now. So don't advance it, because yes. okay. now it's kinked. Okay. Right, the baby's right. moving as well. Yes. Should you, we tell? Right. Let's try eight a little bit, I think. Yeah. Well, we, 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 get, we gain the position because let's try eight a little bit. Yeah, the sheath is it's a little kinked. So? Well, yeah. Six flat sheath we can also not so much. Yeah. No. Let's exchange and go. SVC and then mm -hmm. come back, yeah? Yeah. Let's go, I think. Okay, so take yeah. that and then let's flush that. So what's the decision? I, I, th yeah. I think we'll go to what I originally SVC. was planning, which, uh, which is to get a circuit and go anti-grade uh, anti venous approach. Okay. I think let's uh, try another. My because the sheath is also kinked here now. Okay, so well. do you think should we go for uh, Yeah, you go for lecture, lecture and we'll come back to you. Come back to you. We'll yes, come yes, back yes, to you, okay. yeah. uh, Let's sort out the dilator for the sheath first because it's kinked. So it's um, a pleasure to introduce uh, Professor Omar Jalal, who will uh, give us a talk about BDA closure with uh, coils. Yeah, I think you need to increase the volume. Uh, you increase it yourself. <laughs> Can you hear us now? 
Yes. Okay. All right. So can you see the um, the angiogram or the sheath in uh, the sh uh, in the fistula? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is a sort of near. No. Because uh, not us. Near bilateral. Uh, show the uh, other plane as well. Other plane, bilateral. Bilateral. Biplane, if you like. Go. Let it. All right. Um, okay. This is the only one. All right. So uh, because of the problems we had with the. 10 millimeter AVP2 because I think it was just a bit too tight going around the bend. Once again, the options were either to do an arterial venous guide wire circuit and go from the femoral venous approach or downsize one and uh, have one more attempt. Uh, and uh, Ahmed persuaded me to try 8 millimeter AVP2, uh, which obviously then goes more easily through such a sheet. So if we show the next one. Next. So here is an 8 uh, millimeter AVP2 that you can see with the distal disc open in the fistula or this distal part of the fistula and then the middle segment and the proximal one inside all attached. Next. Next. So here you see the middle part of the uh, AVP2 deployed. Next. Next. And here the proximal part is deployed and uh, at the moment the uh, device is under tension so what we see is that the middle part is reasonably at a constriction and uh, hopefully that will actually uh, help to occlude the fistula uh, and the proximal disc is under tension so it hasn't formed yet. Uh, so uh, what do you think of the pictures there and the main question really was we, we were trying to be quick is to let it go or not. So very quick, couple of thoughts, and then we'll carry on. Comments? Any comments? Yes. Let's go. Uh, All right. Uh, Whilst sorry. you're uh, thinking, <coughs> we're going to do here. another angio. <coughs> I just wonder whether the here centre is bit is actually stool. compressed, or whether the device is being pulled from either end and therefore made to look thinner. Yeah. Because if you look at the fistula, it's a little bit bigger yeah. than the uh, compressed bit. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Distally, however, in that middle... No, I agree distally. There but is it's some sort of compression, yeah. I think. And so, until well, I'm not we sure whether it's, com it's compression distally, but I think the device is being pulled apart. Uh, until, yeah, until we have... Um, no, not the very distal bit, but you see where the contrast uh, joins up <laughs> with the middle segment in the yes. distal third there. Absolutely. And I think there is some sort of a hold up of contrast. Sure, yeah, yeah. No, so I think distally I agree. Uh, uh, my inclination now is to actually release it and then yes. uh, 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 check, check pictures. Okay? It's okay. safe to do so. Yeah. Okay, okay. so okay. we will now, if you... Now biplane. Plural. Is that biplane plural? Okay. Plural, biplane. Go. Right, carry on. Go. Carry on. Okay, very well. I so take that. Very good. All right, hold it there and let's just do an angio. Are you ready? Yeah, let me just do a test. Oh, hold on. Now. Yeah. Okay. I just need to. Yeah, okay. All right, go. Yes. Oh. Yeah, near occlusion. Yeah. Definitely okay, what do you think? Occlusion, yeah? Definitely. Replay, store or replay? Say. Or not, or not. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, going to stay in place and it looks compressed distally and the uh, disc is formed. So I, actually that was a, a good choice, or ten minutes good later. choice from Ahmed to go downsize to 8 millimeters. Okay. Thank, thank you. Us. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. You better carry on to make but up time. Any comments? Just a minute. Just a minute. Yeah. Right. Shaq, are we um, 100 percent sure that the coronary sinus is Pardon? not being occluded at all? What's that? I, I, are we sure that the coronary sinus is uh, free, sinus. freely draining? I mean, it's, it's clearly not at the SVC junction, the exit point, and it may be close to the coronary sinus. Um, mm -hmm. Do we know whether the, you know, whether the coronary um, sinus is no, patent and all that? No, we don't. Um, yeah. Can we see it on echo or something? Uh, we, um, or coronary angio, you know, left coronary angio? Well, we're doing... No? Anyway, just a thought. Looking at the RAO projection, it I looks as if it should be well away, but uh, we will check that. And also, if you replay the last one, 
the other uh, question that I, I was asking before was the right coronary, and the right coronary looks all right. No, I, th I think it's the, uh, whether the coronary sinus. Yeah. I think you may be able to see the coronary sinus on this. Yes, and it's clear. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. You, you can see, see it in the, it leave, in the there, yeah. late phase, yes. Yeah, it's way down, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I on, agree. On the REO projection, yeah. you can see it. Okay, thank you very much, Joe. Thank you. Thank you.